back to How to Play It. I'm Cora. And I'm Logan. And today you'll be learning how to play This Game is Bugger. This is a super fun and super great game for really everybody. Anybody can yep. play this. It's super fun. Yes. Okay. So you can put that off to the side and he needs instructions. We'll explain to you how to play. So, you take the board. It's very pretty. It's <laughs> purple. And you fold it. <laughs> and unfold it. When was this game made? I believe in... Mm, 19... something. Uh, 1978. 1978, that's what it was. I knew that. I just so it's a bit of an older game, but it's a very fun and unique game, and the game changes every single time. Alright, so first you pick red, yellow, green, blue. I'm always red, she's always blue. So Just because those are our favorite colors. So, red... Red. So you start at zero, and you put your little pawn guy yeah, on start. And start. So like normal. Blue. So I'm gonna be blue, and he's gonna be red. And just so you can see, the pegs fit straight into the board, so that they stick out the other side. The goal of the game is to reach all the way down to twelve, 12 points. And so, go to lose. And then there. Yep, there are these little cards. Go to lose. Yep. Right, so. Okay, so. There's a dice or mm -hmm. two dice. Sorry, any dice. If you're missing them, they will work just fine. Yeah, dice. they don't have any trick pieces on them or anything yeah. like that. So okay, we usually don't like to use the go to lose cards. So we're just we usually don't play with them. But if you want to know how to play with them, basically you just say I'm playing my go to lose card. And yeah. you play it on somebody else to so say Cora's winning by so much that I want her to go to lose. So lose is where right here. And you lose a point. And your turn. Yes. So these you can choose to give to any player. Like I, I could be like, well, okay, go to lose. Yeah. And or whatever. Go to lose. Yeah. And you can't resist anything. You have to. Sometimes there's an option you can play with them or you don't play with them. Yeah, and we usually don't play with them. So we're gonna but that's that a fun little side. twist if you guys want to try that out. Alright, so I'm going to sort these and Cora's going to sort those. Okay. So <laughs> what are these little tokens? Alright, so you place these on the board where there's a space yep. for them. So there's like perfect here, spots here, right there, all here, over the place. Anywhere they fit. Some of them consist of move back 12, ahead 1, ahead 12, and yep. things like that. Back 5, etc. things like that. But then there are also fun twists, like, like roll again. again and go to nearest score. Yeah, there, there yeah. are tons of those too, and then there's always like a head 2 or anything like that. Or, once again... Go, oh, I'm showing that very bad. <laughs> Go to the nearest score. So, those, and then there's also exchange cards, which we will tell you guys about once we get them, because they can be very confusing. Yes. Ah! Okay, so. So, we each start out with four, four cards. cards. So, now I've got to. Make sure that they're all flipped upside down. And in the right spot, and which I'm not doing a very good job of. <laughs> so I'm just going to randomly pick so four. One, she's going to pick four for her, and, and then she's three, also going to pick four for me. Four. Perfect. So these are the extra cards, except they have to be face down, so you just pick at random. Alright. Okay. So these are mine. I have a back four, a head two, a head five, and back two. And also, it does not matter if she sees my cards or yeah. I see hers. Oh, well, those are the dogs. There's just her dogs <laughs> wanting to say a little hi. Yeah. Yep, in yes. the background. So, Cora, you can start while I'm still going. Okay, so start. what you do first is you roll both both dice. Or dice, die, or whatever. Die. Hi, dogs. Okay, can you please be quiet now? Thank you. We're trying to do a game. Okay. So I roll. All right, four. So, you get a five. so you have. Oh, five. I cannot do math. Okay, five. So here's start. And so I have to move this way. So one, two, three, four, five. All right. Now, so once your turn or once you're done rolling, you have to play one of these. I can play back two, ahead five, ahead two, or back four. 
So, and once I place these, I do that action immediately. So let's see. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. I don't. I don't have that. But I think, for no apparent reason, I'm going to play my ahead five right here. And then I move forward five. One, two, three, four, five. So nothing happens there, and I don't gain any points because of um, I didn't land on a score. Or and once a start. you play one of those, you draw another one. So yes. she just got another Thank 10. You. So as you can't see, <laughs> I have an ahead four, ahead 12, another ahead four, and a go to start. So a go to start, start is also a score. That confused us at first, but start is score. So yes. You yeah. score points on start. So I'm going to roll. I got a four. One, two, three, four. Uh, hmm. It's either a head four or a head 12. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Uh, I'm just going to go to start. So I'm going to start. Wee. So he goes all the way around this crazy wacky board. And then I score and one point. point. Start. So as you just lift the peg up and I'm at one So now, now the score is one, zero. And then I just pick one of these up. Also, you get a point if you roll double sixes. sixes. On only double yep. sixes. Yeah. So No other double. Say, ten, this is my roll. Oh, I got double sixes. You would get a point and you'd move the space. Or and then play pieces. according to your turn. Yes. So we're going to show... I'm going to <laughs> beat Logan. And we're going to show this a couple more times. So I got a six. So four plus two, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I have here, hmm, one, two, three, four. Oh, okay, so I moved, so this is the score that I was trying to go to, except I passed it, so now I'm here. I get to play a token of any card, and I'm going to play a back four, because when I play the back four, she moves backwards. Four one, spaces. two, three, four, and, lands and I land on the score. On the score. So now it's my I turn. I move it up, and the score is one, two, two one. one. All right, so now it's my turn, and I got a seven. One, two, three, four. And you can't forget to draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then there's that one, two, three, four. Um. Ah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sure. I'm just going to do an ahead ten. Don't ask me why. I don't really know. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now it's first turn. Okay, my turn. Ooh, eight. Six plus two, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I don't have a plus four, but I do have an exchange card. <gasps> All right, so exchange cards is where? So are you going to play it? Yes. All right, so she's going to play it. So you basically pick this card up. So once it's played, you pick it up again, and then... She's going to swap it with any card that's currently on the board. Yes. And these are in the board. like. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've fallen for that a couple times. These go to lose are stuck in the board. Yeah. They're not actual pieces. All right. So which piece are you going to? I'm going to exchange my exchange card for go to start. So now, so now go to start goes right card. here. And I play my new go to start. Well, right you don't here. play. You just swap it. So then now she goes to start. And now I, you have to follow the action after your turn. And then, so I get a point. My turn. And I have to draw. Go ahead. Ooh, Eight. go to the nearest One, score. Two, three. What do you mean, go to the nearest? Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Um, back ten is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> Got That's a little scared those. there. No. All right, I'm playing my back 10. Don't ask me why, I really don't know again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 10. All right, now it's gonna show me. And then, yep, and you have to draw. Yep. Ooh, okay, right. four. One, two, three, four. Exchange cards. <sighs> uh, we'll go with this one. Oh, what do you know? I'm taking the go to start, and now I go all the way around the board. Whee! Oh, <laughs> right here. All right, so she scores yet again. And when you get an exchange card, that 
is what I played for my turn, so it's like your turn, so I don't have to play any of my cards. I just flip the card on the board. All right, so now it's my turn. Ooh, Four. doubles. And by but, the way, doubles don't do anything. Yeah. Unless it's double sixes where you get a point. All right, so like we one, described two, earlier. One, two, three, four. Oh. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Go to start. Just because there's nothing really good. So the score is tied up. Two. two to two. Now it's my turn. And I get to roll the lucky die. Woo! Five. I don't know what that means. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Ahead, two. So this is why I really like this game because the game switches every time in the order that you place the cards. So right now I just started at start. I went to a head five and I had to follow that action. Then I played my action of moving ahead two. So she scores another point. Yep. So now it's my turn. I rolled a five. Yay! One, two, three, four, oh. five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Right, so now so Logan gets a point. So it's three, three. Yeah. All right. Just so you know, you, there is no spot to place an action on a score or a lose. Yeah. So you just follow the action and you don't get to place a card. Four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. There's this card uh, here that says back four so, that I actually played earlier. So I get to move backwards four and I get another point. And it does not matter. So I can go on this. I Yeah. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter who plays like, it. If she plays it, I'm allowed to go on it. Yeah. 11. 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh. Really? You don't have a plus one. Uh -huh. All right. I'm playing a roll again. And the so. roll again, which I didn't show you earlier, looks like these. So I'm rolling again, and I have an 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh. Uh. Oh. So this means that on the scoreboard... Logan's piece gets taken back to two. And yep. he loses his turn. Right. Seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go to start. Uh, Woo! The score is five to two. Yeah, if we get it. So now it's Corey's turn. Since because he lost his next time. turn because of lose. Yeah, we get it. And we have to go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No. I think we'll play the go to the nearest score. And the nearest score is over Oops. here. So now the score is six to two. All right. So now it's my turn. Can't forget to draw. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I'm playing ahead 12, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, ahead 12. 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. And as you can see, this space is back 15. So that means you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Back to that. So you can gain a point if there is, let's say, this piece, this back four, is right there, all right? And then, wait. Or it's like, one, what, two, what, what if we just do this? So we have the, and that oh, piece okay, is that right works. there. And that piece is right here. So you land on this spot, you play your ahead four, you go one, two, three. This spot. Oh, he doesn't know how to count. One, two, three, four. <laughs> then you land on this spot. One, two, three, four. One, and two, then you three, get stuck four. in a loop. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. In this scenario, you gain a point. 
Yes, if you and get stuck you in one of these. stop on the ahead spot. So not on the back, on the ahead. So for example, I would go one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I would just stop there. Yeah, and then he gains a point. Yes. But this is just an example. Yes. Okay, my turn. Did we actually gain a point? Six. Or did I actually gain a point? On that no. example, all right, that's what I thought. <laughs> oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm liking this. It is ten to five. Yes. All right, so I got double oh. sixes. Oh. So that's one point Boo. there. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, he just gained two points. Uh-oh, he's catching up on me. Five. <laughs> No, one, two, you three, scored four, anyways. Five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. To get another point. The score is 11 to seven. Seven. One, one two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yay. Oh, wow. Now he goes all the way to start. And this could be the game winning point. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Oh. Um. No. I had one. Go to start. Woo! I am the winner! Yay! <laughs> well, this game is a very fun game. And Mr. Grumpy over here lost me by one, two, three. Oh, I never did the honors! Four points! Woo! Okay, so this, uh, this game is bonkers, which is actually what it's called. It's a pretty wacky name. But it's called This Game is Bonkers. It's a super fun strategic game for everybody. Or and up to four players. Yes. And uh, yes, you can do teams. Yeah, and it changes every single game. So some of the pieces that are here probably won't be in the same spot next time. And if they are, you're very lucky. Yeah. If it's, in, if it's good. <laughs> One time, we actually had Cora. She went to lose. And then, so she landed on lose. And there was like a... A head one right. Wait, there isn't a head one. All right, there's a head one right there, and there was like an a head. I don't know. But, so there's a head one right there, and she would roll a three or a four every time. Yeah. So she would go back to lose, and she was at zero. And, and then and I just kind of gave up, and and then she just started like trapping yeah, everybody. Yeah. Uh, another strategy that you can do is you can like booby trap all this area. Yeah. And you can make the player go back to lose. So for example, if you go. So say you roll like a six or something. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry. One, two, three, three four, four, five, five six. six. One, one two. two. Go to lose. Yeah, and then but you lose the consequences, point. you would lose a point. Yeah. But everybody else would lose a point if they roll uh, or land on it. So there are many strategies that you guys can figure out in this game. It's bonkers. Oh. Mm. <laughs> it's a super fun game, and thanks for watching. And we will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like all of our videos yeah. and give them a thumbs up. And leave tons of comments down below about um, some of your favorite games that you want us to play. And we'll see if we yes. have them. And explain. That'd be awesome because <laughs> we love comments. Yep. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time on how to play it. Bye.